We're bringing you a special double overtime today as we honor the 10th anniversary of the landmark Dear Colleague Letter and the impact of inclusive high school participation nationwide. Welcome to part one of this NFHS Overtime double feature. I'm Nate Perry. In 1992, the Connecticut Interscholastic Athletic Conference and Special Olympics Connecticut brought high school student athletes with and without intellectual disabilities together for the very first time through Special Olympics Unified Sports. That partnership has now surpassed 30 years, and to celebrate, we're taking you back to where it all began. There was a real need for something to help the public understand people with disabilities better, because they had really bad preconceived notions. Determined to break down those preconceived notions, Bo Doherty, now known as the godfather of Unified Sports, met with Special Olympics founder Eunice Kennedy Shriver, and organized successful pilot programs in Massachusetts before moving to Connecticut, where he was approached by CIAC Executive Director Mike Savage. A light bulb went on and I thought to myself very quickly that, you know, we as school officials were not in any way serving the needs of the intellectually disabled youngsters. As the initiative grew in popularity, schools began to report that Doherty's ultimate goal had been achieved. The barriers between students with and without disabilities were eroding, and unified sports had become a catalyst for positively impacting school culture. The work to build up Special Olympics Unified Sports in Connecticut set the foundation for a national movement and created a model that has inspired so many more NFHS state associations and Special Olympic state programs to work together. This year, unified sports are being played by more than 8,300 schools in the U.S., including 3,115 high schools, and have grown to become a genuine part of high school athletics around the country. Thanks again for joining us on NFHS Overtime, but don't go anywhere. We've got another outstanding inclusion story coming right up.